Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. So in this session, we are going to discuss about one of the most important reform in education that is Woods Dispatch. Okay, so if you get a question on Woods Dispatch, I'll tell you what all things you need to write here. What are the criticisms of Woods Dispatch and everything we will cover systematically. But uh, before that, if you get a general question on education, this is one of the most important reform that you need to write. Even if you get a question related to modern education, we, we need to talk about this, uh, these uh, reforms like Woods Dispatch, Maculay Minute, Hunder Commission, 1813 Charter Act, everything in your introduction. Because our modern education system was d evolved during British time. Okay, see, uh, when we talk about uh, British rule in India, there are a lot of positives apart from negatives. Like when we discuss about law and order, there are a lot of improvements and you know developments that they have done like police reform police stations were established police officials were appointed all those things we have discussed under Cornwallis and then we have also discussed about anti Tugilo under William Bentick similarly there are a lot of developments in education and all those actually you know uh, changed the system of education in India before that if you see uh, the Hindu education system or Muslim education system there are a lot of problems with respect to education system in India in both sides, okay, whether it is Gurugul system or Madrasa system. Both are not updated, both are outdated. If you see Muslim education system during Mughal time when they came, they came up with a new system. But at that time it was modern. But what was modern in 14th and 15th century, now when you look into 19th century, it is totally outdated and it was not updated. That's the problem with Muslim system. And forget about Hindu system, it was not even updated from, you know, Gupta period onwards, okay? Okay. So these are the problems that we faced during, you know, during the time of during 19th century with respect to education system. There are no developments of natural science. There are no development of social science, etc. But because of, you know, British, when we talk about the positives of British, they actually came up with a model of education and over a period of time that evolution you can see. Okay. <coughs> And our current system, the modern system, has actually evolved through this process, starting from 1813 Charter Act. So if you get a question in general, or even if you get a question on Woods Dispatch, even before we talk about Woods Dispatch, you have to talk about 1813 Charter Act. Something happened in 1813 Charter Act with respect to education, very important because that's the first effort from the British side for the development of education in India. What was that? The company was directed to spend rupees 1 lakh for the purpose of betterment of education in those areas where they have control so they started taking some initiative for the improvement of education in India through 1813 Charter Act so that should be your first line when you're writing any general essay question you can talk about Nalanda Takshashila that is up to you but if the question is about modern education we will mainly focus on you know from 1813 onwards okay 1813 Charter Act is the first step from the English, British, British side uh, towards the development of modern Indian education and then we will talk about 1835 uh, Woods uh, the Maculay Minute that we have done in the previous video we have talked about Maculay Minute so we have already discussed about the significance of Macula Minute that they have focused on higher education. They have decided that higher education to be given in English model and in English medium so that they can create a class of people who are going to support the English in the governance. Okay, they will act as the middleman between the local people and the English. So that was their objective through this. And uh, the problem we have discussed, they followed a trickle down approach or a downward filtration uh, theory. And it was a failure because uh, those people who got education it was not the responsibility of state to give education to masses so the state state is not going to give education for all state decided to give education for few and they uh, thought that these few who is getting education in English model and in English medium will teach rest of the others in the vernacular language but that never happened and that was the failure okay so that was the problem in uh, macular minute so education for masses was not the responsibility of state that was one of the failure second criticism was actually they gave importance to higher education so rather than going from bottom to top you first improve the primary education then focus on secondary education and then go to higher education so instead of going from bottom up approach they came up with top to bottom approach okay that was also a criticism so keeping this in mind we will have to analyze Woods dispatch so Woods dispatch the criticism is going to be uh, if not solved at least half or partially it will be 
solved okay and after talking about woods dispatch there will be some criticism as i've told you it is partially solved so that is going to be solved completely when it comes to hunder commission and then evolution process of education will be complete so that is how we need to write the answer so even if the question is specifically about uh, woods dispatch you have to talk about 1813 charter act you have to mention about macula minute because uh, it, if you need to understand woods dispatch properly you should be knowing the limitations of macula minute and if you need to complete the answer on woods dispatch you should talk about the criticisms and how is it solved also so hunder commission also need to be written so any question if it is macula minute you have to write all the four if it is uh, woods dispatch then also you have to write all the four if it is under commission then also you need to write all the four but the ratio will change that is the only thing that you can adjust apart from that these four areas has to be there in your answer if it is general then the ratio will almost remain the same if it is specific that you need to give importance to that particular area but you have to mention all the four areas and then then you can go for comparison now what is what is actually happening now you can talk about education system in japan india you can compare that and with other countries also you can also talk about right to education you can talk about midday meal scheme all those things you can bring in there is no problem but this has to be your introduction so let's start with the uh, words dispatch as i have told you one of the most important problem in macula minute that was the state did not took up responsibility for a giving education to masses and that problem is now going to be solved that state is going to take up responsibility for giving education to masses so the first point is actually the state took up the responsibility of giving education to masses okay and many scholars call it as magna carta of modern indian education Magna Carta is a very famous order which was issued by English king way back in 12th century okay 1215 and that granted certain rights to the English citizen and that was such a huge big thing and this Woods dispatch actually compared with Magna Carta that particular order with respect to modern indian education so without touching this woods dispatch any answer that you're going to write about modern education will never be complete so i want to stress this point and uh, i want to make it clear okay and the second point is related to secondary education uh, see i've told you the problem second problem was they have given importance to higher education here they are going to focus on secondary education secondary education to be given in vernacular language and higher education as we have discussed in case of macula minute it should be given in english model and in english medium but here they are focusing on secondary education so what is the criticism they are still not focusing on primary education so you are not going from bottom to top you first focus on primary that is also the criticism here so how this criticism is going to be solved in the next one you will see they'll focus on primary education third one you know technological colleges has to be established and you will see technological colleges are established the first engineering college uh, was established in roorkee and then pusa institute of agricultural sciences okay so we will discuss about these two after some time and then next point is related to universities universities to be opened and you will see in 1857 three universities in three presidencies Uh, the calcutta bombay uh, calcutta bombay and madras three universities were opened the next point was related to teachers training program so it is not only the students who need to be taught well the teachers also need to be trained the way in which they are going to teach the students so teachers training program started that is what our you know current b ed program and everything the root is actually from there so i hope you understood the first point is related to the criticism that we have discussed in macula minute that education for masses is now the responsibility of state second point secondary education to be given in vernacular language but here the criticism i have told you third point universities to be established fourth point technological colleges has to be established and we have seen universities three and two technological colleges at that time and then teachers training program so let me quickly write down these uh, five points and uh, then we will talk about the uh, khundar commission briefly that's how you need to write the answer so if you see here in this discussion i'm stressing more on uh, the swords dispatch and uh, the less on macula minute and khundar commission so that has to be the ratio in which you are writing if specific question is asked if it is general you have to align accordingly okay so the first one Uh, it is actually named after charles wood who was the president of board of control at that time okay so if you remember board of control we have discussed which was established in 1784 pitts india act a board of control was established in england 
to control or regulate the affairs of East India Company in India with six members that we have discussed. So, Board of Control, 1784, the President of Board of Control, Charles Wood, okay, and he wrote a letter to the then Governor General, that is Dalhousie, and that's why it is Wood's Dispatch. He recommended certain uh, reforms in education. So, the first one, education for, education for all, not for few, okay. So, education for all is now the responsibility of state. State took up the responsibility of giving education to masses. Second point, uh, secondary education to be given in vernacular language and higher education should be given in English language. Okay. So, secondary education should to be given in vernacular language and higher education to be given in English as we have discussed in case of macula minute what is the third point uh, to open technological colleges in India to open technological colleges in India and in Dalhousie period, two technological colleges were set up. One was in 1854 at Roorkee. At Roorkee, the first engineering college was set up and it became, it was converted to IIT during uh, Vajpayee's time. Okay. So when he, Vajpayee was the PM, it was uh, shifted or converted to IIT Roorkee. So first engineering college. Okay. And then in uh, Bihar, Pusa Institute of Agricultural Sciences, Pusa Institute of Agricultural Sciences. Now it is in Delhi now because actually there was an earthquake in 1934 and in this after this earthquake it was actually shifted to Delhi. So originally it was in you know uh, Bihar okay and next point uh, universities to be opened so universities to be opened for higher education so universities to be opened see till then there was no such concept of degree like which you are getting now BA, BCom no such uh, degree or certificates was there Nalanda Takshashila University don't compare it with this modern day university okay so universities to be opened for higher education and uh, Calcutta Bombay Madras, three universities in 1857 and then uh, teachers training program to be started. Okay, so teachers training program to be started. So these are the five points that you need to remember education for all then uh, the state took up responsibility for giving education for all and then uh, the secondary education to be given in uh, vernacular language and higher education to be given in English language. Third point, technological colleges has to be set up and you will see the establishment of uh, Pusa Institute of Agricultural Sciences and the first engineering college at Roorkee in 1854 during, uh, during uh, uh, Dalhousie period and then uh, universities to be opened and in 1857 three universities at Bombay, Calcutta and Madras teachers training program has to be started. So these are five points that you need to remember. As I have told you the criticism is related to this now. They have given importance to secondary education neglecting primary education so that problem is going to be solved in where hunder commission so hunder commission so when you discuss about hunder commission we have actually discussed about one more hunder commission before that was during the time of jalian wala bag massacre the commission which was appointed to inquire into the charges of police excesses that was hunder commission and they came up with uh, the recommendation that general dyer did not uh, use any excessive force and there was no fault they find from general dyer side we have discussed that already so i'm not getting into the detail but what you need to know is hunder commission in education and hunder commission related to jalian walabag massacre the police access to inquire into the charges of police excesses okay so here related to education and in this they are going to give education to uh, the importance to primary 
education so that criticism that you are not focused on focusing on primary education or you are not uh, do, coming from you know going from bottom to top approach is going to be solved now but still uh, they are the ideas like those right they are coming from higher secondary and primary now onwards it is going to be stabilized now onwards it is going to be in a good way that's why i've told you this is the evolution that you need to write in any question related to education whether it is in history in general studies or in essay this evolution has to be there without writing especially woods dispatch your answer on education will never be complete it doesn't matter you are writing a history answer okay even if you are writing a essay general answer you should be talking about what's dispatch as i've told you it is known as magna carta of modern indian education that changed the indian education setup okay so i hope you got the complete idea about uh, the evolution of education system and what was our problem in education before british and then now after talking about this you can talk about the present issues uh, and the uh, developments and all those things you can write okay so that's about uh, what's dispatch if you have any doubt you can get in touch with me here and uh, you can join this telegram channel uh, i have shared all my videos i have done history from 1757 to 1947 we have completed history in around 50 60 lectures you can see that videos and that it's that in that in itself is enough for you to complete your history you don't want to read anything else if you have done with these videos that's enough okay it is so comprehensively we have done and economy also you can watch the videos in the telegram channel so see you guys thank you